Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. Did you know there's an amazing tool for the bathroom design, especially for children with special needs that helps facilitate toileting? It's called a hygiene station. The original idea came from Linda Badabi, founder of MOVE or MOVE International. It's an organization out of Bakersfield, California that has, that has a design curriculum for getting physically disabled students up and moving through a series of innovative equipment. The goal is dignity, inclusion, and health. I love that. The Rifton Company actually manufactures the hygiene station that you're about to see today. This piece of equipment was designed to help students learn to stand to be changed and then pivot to the toilet if necessary. Starting at the early childhood stage, our students are learning to stand and bear weight while being changed. Not least among the advantages is that families can take their children out in public restrooms or even to their family and friends' homes and not worry about needing a place to have their child lie down. Think about this. For years, we've changed adult-sized children lying down because there was no other alternative. Now our students can maintain a sense of dignity during toileting because they can stand or stand and pivot to the toilet. Today, I am thrilled to have a colleague of mine, Susan McCoskey, who is a trainer for MOVE International and a teacher of students with intense intervention needs, demonstrate the hygiene station. Take a look. Okay, here I am in an elementary school in one of our programs with Susan, and I have some questions for you, Susan. Can you tell my viewers what MOVE stands for? Yes, MOVE is Mobility Opportunities Via Education. It's a program that's developed out of Bakersfield, California, and is now an international training program. Okay, thanks. So here we have a hygiene station mm -hmm. and in your opinion, what do you think is the biggest advantage of this? The biggest advantage of the hygiene station is it promotes independence for all students. Okay, and specifically what would you say are those independent pieces? Well, the hygiene station is used um, to teach toileting skills, weight bearing, pivoting, and standing um, to bear weight while being changed okay. in the hopes of independence as students progress. Okay, so is it adjustable? It is adjustable, both um, in height mm -hmm. and so it can accommodate the level of support that a student needs. Okay. As you can see. Yeah, so mm -hmm. what is what are this for? Can you show me these some of the are called, safety features? Yes, these are called knee blocks. And a student actually would be standing here, and they can press in with their knees. Okay. Also, if a student does not have good trunk support, there is this feature so that there's more security, because mm -hmm. you can learn only if you're safe. Yes. And there are degrees of handles to support students as well. Okay. So it becomes a very, very safe way for kids to transition okay. while they're standing. Fantastic. So Susan, you mentioned that you can pivot with this. Can you demonstrate how that works? Sure. Um, in order to pivot, you need to make sure that the table is horizontal. Okay. Again, just a simple click. Okay. Disengage the knee pads okay. because you don't want to um, have those blocking you. Right. You would hold here and there's an, a safety button here that you just push down. As you can oh. see, I'm just using one thumb. Right. And Now does the student do this or the instructor or staff people? It, it really depends on the level of comfort. Okay. Essentially we would uh, want the student to be able to do it Mm -hmm. But oftentimes they're very nervous because they're having to motor plan, moving their feet. Okay. And a lot of times once they start moving, they become more dependent on the prompt. And it's very difficult to do this and not just push on the, okay. the switch. Okay. And As then, you can see, this provides easy access. You still are supported. Uh -huh. And you just basically let gravity oh. lower you down. Beautiful. Again. Usually there are bars, grab bars, uh -huh. um, but the student can always hold on okay. to this. And again, it gives enough support. It's very sturdy, very stable. They can pull to Back stand, up. which is another independence um, trait, mm -hmm. and pivot back around. Mm -hmm. 
and that they Same have a way. wheelchair. The wheelchair would be positioned right here. Okay. And again, you can drop yeah. and sit into your sit into the wheelchair. Fantastic! So great. It is. It's wonderful. All right. Okay, Susan, you've used this in your classroom. So mm -hmm. give us an idea of what your outcomes have been. What kind of success have you had with this? I've had tremendous success with this. Mm -hmm. um, it has really helped not only my students but their families. Mm -hmm. um, I have had a student who has transitioned from using. Uh, this hygiene station being fully supported who now is able to just pull to stand at the grab bars that you'll find in any restaurant or in any other um, accessible bathroom oh wow which makes it much easier for us to take him out into the community that's a huge, huge absolutely issue. absolutely that's a huge benefit so families that are watching this would they would they want to put something like this in, in their home is this a home thing um, it certainly can be used in a home. It is a little bit expensive. It is something that uh, you really can see a lot of benefits with training. But again, um, our goal through school and teaching and training is to make a student ready to be in the community. These, you will not find these in the community, therefore I'm not sure that you want to build a dependence just on this. We always want to do prompt reduction, mm -hmm. take away anything extraneous that we don't need yeah. for our students. Um, but certainly this, if you do have a student with a pretty um, uh, significant, blank, blank, significant level significant of need, physical. it certainly um, is very helpful to the family mm -hmm. as well as a student. Okay, but the ultimate goal is for them to be independent at home and in the community. Absolutely. With just some grab bars. Right. Any accessible stall in a restroom right. will have the grab bars in it, and okay. that's what we want them to be able to, to use. Okay. Thank you so much, You're Susan. Welcome. I appreciate you joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. And remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the students we love, the better quality of life they will have. If you like this video, sign up for Behavior Communicates and you'll get my free weekly blog and video and other resources and information that I only share with my subscribers. Leave a comment below and share this with your friends, parents, teachers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care and I'll see you next time.